find all the recipes on our website, goodchefbadchef.com.au. I'm joined in the kitchen today by David, who is the ambassador for Magimix. Now, normally with Magimix, we're making pureed things up and cooking with them, but we're doing something different today, aren't we? Today we're doing something very different with a new gelato expert, the which is an incredible machine. Gelato expert, so it's like an ice cream machine? It's an ice cream machine, small, and we can do two times two liters at a time, and it's the only machine in the world that is on sensor, not on timing. So the machine will tell you when your ice cream is ready. Yeah, but we're two qualified chefs. We should know how to be able to do this stuff. <laughs> no, we want to make it easy. All right, okay. Now, making it easy, we're going to make an ice cream today, are we? Yes, we are. So we're going to make a, a nice hazelnut ice cream, creme yep. anglaise base with some citrus honey. I like that. Now, we're going to make a creme anglaise, isn't yes. it, which is the base for ice cream. 100%. Now, it's, uh, I know you're French, but creme anglaise, that's uh, English cream. It starts with cream and, uh, and, and milk. milk. Yes. Yeah? So we're going to bring that to boil. Okay, so I'll take that and pour it into the uh, little pot here. Yes. And we want to bring it up to the boil nice and slowly. Slowly, yes. Yeah, so gotcha. that we don't want it to go bubbling. So I'll turn it on. And the thing about induction is it makes it come nice and gently and we can control everything. So Correct. cream in there, milk in there, and straight away. Two cups of each. Yes, and then we put the vanilla bean. You can see two chefs here. Yeah. He's watching me. Yeah, he's not doing too Ma bad. <laughs> making sure I slice it through the middle. I'm not even watching. I'm looking no, at you while no, I do no. that. Yeah. And then I just scrape it with my knife like Correct. this. And we get all these lovely, Good lovely words. vanilla beans in there. In they go. And I scrape both sides of it. Correct. And then throw both of them in there. Correct. Now, vanilla is really expensive nowadays. Very expensive. There's not many countries that produce vanilla. But Madagascar, that is the most well-known, I guess. So in it goes like that. Correct. So I'll just give that a nice gentle stir yep. and bring it up to the boil. Correct, just to mix the pods with the milk and cream. And we're going to bring to the boil. In the meantime, I'm going to bring the egg yolk and sugar together. So this step is quite important, is when you put the sugar in, you want to mix it straight away. Otherwise, the sugar is going to start cooking the eggs, OK? It burns it. Sugar is like a chemical, isn't it? Correct. So okay. you want to go very quick. You're getting that nice and creamy and fluffy. Nice and creamy. Yep. And you want really the sugar to be completely dissolved, OK? OK. So you are, ah, so I could do that in a mixer if I wanted to. You could do it in a mixer, yes. Or even if I had a Magic Mix here, I could do it in the Magic Mix, couldn't I? Magic Mix cook expert, 100%. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just keep stirring this nice and gently until the milk comes to the boil and the cream comes to the boil and the sugar's nice and fluffy. I reckon I've got the easiest job. Now, it's just starting to come to the, uh, to the boil. It's getting nice and hot. Yes. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> now, sometimes when I do it, I put half the sugar in here and then half the sugar in here. Is that is that the, the, the French way? Maybe that's the English way no. of doing it. Ah. Oh. Yes, it's best. Pour that in. Yes. There we go, straight in there. You're whisking that at the same straight time. Away. Oh, look at that. That's it. And then I'm just going to put it back in the pan. Okay, you want the whole lot in there? No, it's okay. Oh, that's <laughs> enough? Yeah. All right, no worries. Okay, it's back on there and in it goes. Oh, look at that. Nice yellow colour. This is the basis of a very good creme anglaise. Simple. Custard, which is what it is. Correct. And this is the ice cream base. This is a classic ice cream base. Now, all I need to do is stir this for a little bit. So two or three minutes, and we'll show you what it looks like. Correct. And then we'll churn it. I can't wait to churn it. Yes, fun. OK, Dave, I reckon that's ready now. Let's what do you think? Look. Perfect. 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 There now we, we can take it aside. We're just going to strain it. Well, it, of course it's going to be perfect with two chefs doing it, isn't it? <laughs> now, you're straining it because you want to get all the crusty bits out of it, don't you? Well, the vanilla bean, especially. Yeah. We don't want it in ice cream. And sometimes there's a little bit of egg and stuff in Correct. the egg white. So Correct. that's coming out beautifully. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And you got the perfect creme anglaise, which can be used as well as a sauce for bread and butter pudding and anything like that. Pouring it over apple crumble. So we're going to let this cool for a little bit now. Yes. So we'll pop this over the side here. Now, while that's cooling, you've got something else you want to make as well. Yeah, we're going to make some uh, caramelised hazelnut. So we're going to do a sugar syrup. So just water. Yep. So how much water is 50 -50 that? 50-50 sugar water. OK. okay. And then we're going to get a nice caramel blonde colour. So this takes a couple of minutes and then yep. we'll put the hazelnuts in there. Do we chop them first? Or no, we're just going to caramelise it together. Yep. So we got a nice coat and then we're just going to, when they're cold, we're going to chop it roughly and, to put in ice cream. And then put it on the tray. Beautiful. Correct. This would be great. OK, David, we're ready to go. We've got our anglaise cooled down nicely and the little hazelnuts or hazelnuts are uh, caramelised, are beautifully ready to go. Yes. Now, we've got the uh, the gelato machine here. You're going to show me how it works. Yeah, so that's the gelato expert. 
just came expert. on the market. So this is Italian made by the best gelato expert in the world. Yep. Okay. So it's small, petit. So what's good about it is you can do two liters at a time. So yep. you got your first bowl here. Yep. You take that and then you get your first ice cream batch, goes in a freezer, and then so, you can do another batch here. So we got on button, we got a pulse button, and yep. then we can do sorbet or gelato, ice cream, and sorbet. Now these three buttons here, so if I'm making gelato, yes. it'll have a sensor to make the gelato to, to stop it when it wants, Correct. and ice cream, the same thing, Correct. and sorbet. So Correct. three different products, and the machine knows... knows with the electric board in place, yep. they got a sensor inside, yep. and the machine will tell you when your ice cream is ready. Okay. It can stay two was like that cool without to put in a freezer. All right. Well, let's pour it in and let's show me how it works. So. so first I'm going to put the creme anglaise. Yep. Now see how nice and thick that are. Uh, do you want me to wipe that out for Why you? Not, thank you. I can do that for you. So it's like two chefs making ice cream <laughs> together. It must be, must be good. <laughs> do you know one of the first things I learned to make in kitchen was ice cream? Uh, when I was 14 years old, I used to make ice cream in a, in a, in a place miles away. So wow. that's one of my favourite things. Now, what's that? That's condensed milk, OK? And that's going to give you even more creaminess, sweetness. I like but that. But a beautiful consistency. Look at that. When I think of condensed milk, I think of my mother uh, putting that in a bottle for me. Can you imagine that? I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, I've got all the sweet stuff. So I'll get rid of these for you. And then you're going to I just put some up. honey. So I put some citrus honey here. Now, but obviously you can use any honey. Now this has got your name on it. Is this a honey that you make? I do, yeah. So it's got citrus inside and okay. sea salt. It's going to give you an amazing flavour profile into your ice cream. Oh, OK, I like that. So I just put, look at that, you can see the citrus inside. I like that. And you, you don't make the actual honey. You get the bees to... You, <laughs> get the bees. you, you, you slave drive <laughs> the bees to make the honey for you. And Correct. then you collect it, steal it from them. Correct. And then you put the other stuff in and make it Correct. delicious. Done. All right. And what then we we're just going to put it on. Yep. And uh, just go for it. So while that's churning, which will take about 20 minutes? 20 minutes. OK. And then you'll chop this or I'll chop this while that's churning? I cannot do everything, with you. Oh, OK. I'll <laughs> so you do it. I'll chop it and you can watch this thing go round and round. Now, don't you get hypnotised by going round and round? It's like French television, watching it go round and round. It'll get you entertained for hours while I chop this. Twenty minutes here. Yep. I'm just going to put the hazelnuts, and then give another five minutes of churning, and your ice cream is done. Have a try. Yeah, I want to have a try. Now you can see it's really starting to thicken up. What I'm amazed with is the uh, the amount of uh, vanilla pods in there, but you can see it's still firming up. And then we're just going to put the hazelnuts. And I can see this on just about everyone's bench at home when you come around there. Nothing beats fresh ice cream made at home. A couple more minutes of torture watching this churn around. Yes. And then we'll uh, scoop it up. Done. Looks great. Ready to go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. I'm just going to get a cone. I'll give you a cone. I love ice cream in a cone, especially one of these wafer cones. Spoon it straight in there. Come on, put some more in there. Oh. I can be greedy with your ice cream. That looks good. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, now I'll just have a little taste of that. Mm. <laughs> a little taste. Mm. <laughs> Oh, is it? You know, ice cream is one of my favourite things. It's one of the first things I learned to, 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 to cook or make. Mm. I love this ice cream. Great flavour, nice and creamy. Love the nuts in it. What a and cracker. Honey, because the honey's coming through. And the honey's coming through, that beautiful honey. What a cracker of a dessert. You've got to get one of these. Bon appétit. Mm.